just hit record and go. Get a sip of mint tea. Ah, that minty goodness. Herbal tea. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, let's uh, get to this then, shall we? And uh, <clears throat> I hate to have to keep talking about the selection, but it's coming down to the wire now, and every day it gets uh, wilder and funnier, in my opinion. This is all a big joke to me, honestly. I'm not taking this seriously, if you haven't noticed. I would rather a third-party candidate get in. Uh, back around July, I guess, I was fairly certain I was going to vote for Gary Johnson. Not because I like him necessarily, just because uh, I wanted to vote strategically in a manner that I thought would uh, continue to break up this two-party duopoly. Based on all the uh, candidates' positions, though, I most closely align with the Green Party. I, I do have a few disputes with them on taxation and, and economics, but it's uh, clear that our choices are Trump and Clinton at this point. That's obvious, so... Now all I have to do is make the choice between, uh, you know, whether I want to vote my conscience or I want to fuck you vote for Trump. And so we'll see what I do. So two points. Yesterday I uploaded a video about the latest woman making claims of sexual impropriety against Trump, Jessica Drake, a porn star. And yesterday I happened to touch upon the fact that the porn industry is hurting right now. So the great, that brings up this. You'll see how these pieces connect. The great Roman statesman Cicero is famous for the phrase qui bono, and that's Latin for who stands to gain, or uh, who benefits, basically. Something like that. And this particular phrase is still used, actually, as a key question in police investigations for finding out, oh, I don't know, who would have a motive to commit a crime? What motive is there? What motive exists? Lo and behold, <laughs> I love this. This is why I love the internet. Not even 10 hours after this New York Daily News story was published, and um, other similar news outlets also covered this, of, of course, uh, did TMZ, TMZ of all people, publish this? Wow, 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 wow. What an interesting thing this is. La-di-da. Donald Trump accuser launched sex shop 24 hours. Oh, really? Before alleging sexual assault. Only 24 hours. Man, amazing. Just amazing. TMZ is out here doing more investigative journalism than CNN. Not that anyone would expect journalistic integrity from CNN anymore. And I want to make it clear, uh, actually, I'm not victim-blaming any of Trump's accusers necessarily. I just want to point out that claims do require evidence, and until we have more evidence, or, I mean, it, it, yeah, a lot of people coming out, it, it should it should raise some red flags. Because, you know, is Trump a sexist? Mm, I gotta say, it's probably a touch of sexism there. I would call him a chauvinist, certainly. Or to make a, make a distinction, uh, I mean, he's certainly a, a chauvinist to the extent that he's a womanizer. Now, does he think that the female gender is inferior to men? Yeah, knowing Trump, he probably thinks everyone's inferior to him. So, uh, And it is important to point out that this dude is 70 years old. He's 70 years old. He comes from a different generation. His attitudes are what I would call Rat Pack-esque or, you know, Frank Sinatra-esque or something like that. So I can imagine him copying a feel of someone or invading a woman's personal space, definitely. And let me be clear, um, if any credible evidence, as I said, surfaces that he raped anyone, then yes, yeah, uh, let the weight of the law come down on him. Jail time you know, lawsuits, whatever, I don't care. Let justice be done, yeah. Though I'm still 95% sure most of this stuff is media spin. Now, point two that I wanted to touch upon is this glorious quote from Obama, hypocrite in chief. And they're all hypocrites, folks. They're all hypocrites. You can hate me if you want for saying so, but they're all dishonest. So take note of my cautionary maxim. A smile in a suit is not to be trusted. Anytime I see some, anytime I see a smiling man in a suit, I do not trust him. Well, now we got the female uh, version of that, but the same rule applies. Anyway, uh, Obama back at it. Uh, Trump's rigged talk means he's losing. If this was rigged, uh, boy, wouldn't that be a really big conspiracy? Uh, really? Is that what you have to say? By all means, tell us how you really feel, Obama. Flashback 2008. This is why I love the internet. This is why I love the internet. Someone dug up this uh, speech Obama gave in Ohio back in 2008. 
I would just like to know what you can say to reassure us that this election will not be rigged or stolen. Well, well I tell you what, it, it helps in Ohio that we got uh, Democrats in charge of the machines. It helps in Ohio that we got uh, Democrats in charge of the machines. Wow, wow. You're really saying that, huh? You really say you said that. See, this is news to me. I don't even remember that. 2008 was a long time ago. <laughs> oh my God, are you really saying this? Oh my God, Ugh. 2008 was a long time ago. I don't, I don't really recall that. But boy, that I'm sure if I heard it at the time, it raised red flags. But I may not have seen this video. And if that's not good enough, he goes on. Um, but, but look, I come from Chicago, so, so I want to be honest, it's not as if it's just Republicans who have monkeyed around with elections in the past. Sometimes Democrats have to, you know, uh, whenever did, people are in power. Did, did you catch that? Did you catch, did you catch that? He admitted it. He admitted it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please folks, please, please, please folks, please folks. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. The internet is one of our greatest tools. Transparency is one of our greatest tools. Open your eyes. We the people, just remember that. We the people, e pluribus unum, as one. Man, don't play this game of red shirts versus blue shirts. 